Okay, we are now in book six of the Aeneid, in which Aeneas is descending into the underworld in order to visit his father. But first, he has teamed up with the Cumaean Sibyl, who is going to be his guide into the underworld, and they are about to encounter Charon, the boatman of the underworld, to try and get across into the underworld proper. So, starting at line 295, book six of the Aeneid, from here, there is a road. We are just implying Est is there. A road which brings itself to the waves of Tartarian Acheron. Tartarus is a particular section of the underworld, and it is just an adjective to describe which part of Acheron. It's the part that is the Tartarian. Here, he with a long eye, a turbid bubbling. It rages. I to what? It does, right? It heats up with mud in the ablative and with a vast oragane, whirlpool, chasm, if you would like. It describes the place that is this confluence of the rivers Acheron, Cocytus, Styx, to obviously cause quite a bit of a disturbance with the water. Atque, and it spits out it, 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 it vomits out all the sand from Cocytus. The horrendous boatman, the portator, Charon, he watches over, he protects, he preserves, servo servare, these waters and rivers with his terrible squalor. Essentially, Charon is going to be described here as somewhat looking like a stereotypical homeless guy. He's going to be dirty, he's going to be squalid, and so forth and so on. For whom your dative of possession, <coughs> or reference, I suppose, for whom a very much superlative, uncultivated, from colo colore colui cultus, grayness. Committees is your nominative singular subject, and here is your verb, yakeo yakere, meaning, of course, to lie. Do not confuse it, of course, with yakio yakere. So, for whom a very much uncultivated grayness lies on his chin. That is your ablative that is there. And his eyes stand with a flame. He is an intense fellow. A dirty cloak, and a mictus is a cloak, hangs down, pendo pendre, from his shoulders in a knot. And of course, the description is again stereotypical as to looking like a hobo or homeless fellow. He's really kind of rough, but we'd expect him to kind of look like that in the locations where he's at in the underworld. He himself drives Ago Agare Egiactus, the raft, the boat, with a pole in the ablative, and he administers the raft with sails. And so it is essentially the ways by which he maneuvers the craft or the boat. And he carries, and this is of course a frequentative. Remember that when you take the fourth principal part of a verb, in this instance, weho, wehere, wexi, and then Wectus, you can turn it into a verb in and of itself, wecto wectare, and it means to carry over and over again, or to whatever over and over again. And he carries the bodies on or with the rust colored boat skiff. Think about all the different words that we have for boat. You have raft, boat, skiff, dinghy, the list can go on and on. Now older, and so we're describing obviously the fellow Charon, but there is, and so you imply an est, there is a rough and tumble, a crude and green old age for the god. And so he is old, older as a matter of fact, say me or, but he's kind of a rough and tumble sort of old. It is a, a green old. To this place, indicating where he is located, the Omnis Turba, the whole crowd, having been poured out, fundo, fundre, booty, fusus, 
meaning to pour out, and it's a perfect passive participle, modify turba, the crowd, having been poured out, they were rushing towards the banks. And so he sees a whole bunch, <coughs> excuse me, of the various different shades or ghosts in the underworld. And then we have a list as to who these people are that he sees. Mothers and husbands and bodies of magnanimous heroes. Magnanimous means great-hearted in the genitive plural. They, those bodies, defunct from their life. Now this is your verb, defuncta, that is fungor, fungi, functus sum. And it's where we get the word function, and that's what it means, to perform, to function, to carry out. And so day means not to perform, not to function. But it is one of those verbs that, of course, include utor uti usus sum, fruor frui frutus sum, potior potiri potitus sum, and wescor wesci wesquitus sum. That would have an ablative object in there. It is the ablative wita. Bodies defunct from their life, boys and unwed girls and youths, uenes, having been placed on funeral pyres, that's what rogis are, in front of the faces of their parents. Now we have then a comparison, a simile being made. As many leaves having slipped, labor, lobby, lops, assume, a perfect passive looking participle. As many leaves having slipped fall in the forests in the first cold of genitive spring. Or as many birds pack together, group together from the deep gurgle to the land when the cold year drives them. Now, our verb here, fugat, it is going to be fugo fugare, which means to cause another to run away. And so it is different than fugio fugere. And so causes to flee across the sea and sends them, in omitere misimesis, in two native of direction, sunny lands. And so the people that are in the underworld are described in two ways. One, of all varieties. The mothers and the husbands and the hero bodies and so forth and so on. And two, there's a really bunch of them. Think about how many leaves fall in the fall. And how many birds make their migrations? They, begging, first were standing to send across their course, and they were stretching out their hands, their manus, in the, of course, accusative plural, where they love of the farther shore. Ripa ripai, where we get the word riparian. They all want to get across because obviously in the underworld, getting across is a place of rest for the dead when they are actually in the underworld proper. But the sad boatman, this is of course the sailor, he is Charon, he now accepts these guys, now accepts those guys, but other guys having been moved away longly, moeo moeri moe motus, he drives them away. Archeo archeare. It is the verb that we've seen before at the very beginning of the Aeneid that means to drive away. He drives them away, those other guys, from the sand. Remember, in order to be able to gain passage across the river by Charon, you have to pay the toll, which is the coin that you are buried with. Aeneas. Having marveled, having been amazed, miror, a deponent verb, mirari, miratasum, and having been moved, moio moeri moi motus, moio moeri moi motus, by the ruckus, by the hubbub, says, tell, O virgin, that is the sibyl who is his guide, what does the crowd, does the concourse want at the stream, at the river? Or, remember that where, as an enclitic, is going to mean war, more or or, or what do the spirits seek? Or, with what difference, with what discrimination, it is, of course, in the ablative by, with, because of, from, in, on, at, and that's accusative, we'll keep that in mind when we scroll down, do these guys, the high, from hick, 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 leave behind the banks, in other words, they gain passage, and those guys, the other guys, sweep 
the lead-colored shallows. The dirty water is like the gray, dull color of lead. The leaden shallows with oars. And so, in other words, what makes it to where some of them gain a passage across and others maybe do not? What is he calls or allow some to get on the boat and some others not so much? Oli is really Illy. From Illy, 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 to that guy, briefly, the long-aged priestess spoke. We've seen this verb several times. Remember, it is the deponent for fari, fatus sum, meaning, of course, to speak or to say. Did speak, not was spoken. It is active in its meaning, briefly, in such a way. O one having been generated, O one having been begotten, O one having been created, from Anchises, don't say of Anchises, O oh, most certain offspring of the gods. This is, of course, indicating his parentage, Anchises, his father, and his immortal mother, Venus. You see, present tense, video videre, the deep swamps, the deep stagna, stagnant waters of Cocytus, and the Stygian Swamp. The word palus pollutus means swamp. Stygian Swamp, whose divine power, the divine power of whom, referring to the river Styx, the gods fear to swear upon and to deceive. The river Styx, when you swear upon it, it is an unbreakable oath even for the gods themselves. It is just that powerful. And so again, you see the Stygian Swamp the divine power of whom the gods be fear to swear upon and to deceive. Follow, followre, fefeli, falsus. Continuing on. All this, haec omnis, which you see, quam cernes, cerno cernes. Where do we get the word discern? If you are discerning, that means you can see stuff. All this. Which you see, all this is the unburied crowd and the in need crowd. In oops means in need or needy. And so the people who are gathering up at the shore, that's the group of people that are obviously in need and unburied, not having been buried. That guy is the boatman Charon. And these guys, whom the wave carries, they are implied, these guys, the ones having been buried. Sepelio, sepelire, sepuli, sepultus. It is not given, it is not granted to carry across the horrendous banks and the noisy, it's where we get the word raucous, the raucous flowings, so it is not given, it's not granted, to carry across the horrendous banks and the raucous flowings before, and it's not granted to carry them across those banks, the unburied ones, before, prius quam, their bones have rested in their seats. In other words, they have to be properly buried. They wander. Duration of time and extent of space is always expressed in accusative case. For 100 years, and they fly, but it is not wolo. Instead, this is a verb that is wolo, wolare, wolawi, wo litus. And you again take the frequentative of it, and to fly repeatedly is to flit. F L I T. Flutter, if you would like. And they flit about, they flutter about around these shores. So they, for 100 years, are going to be ghosts, essentially. Uh, unrequited or unsatisfied spirits because they haven't found their home in the other world. Tum de mum. Then, finally, having been sent in, they revisit the stagnant waters having been wished for, having been wanted. The Satus one, 
the one having been created, having been begotten, from Anchises took up a position, and he pressed his footsteps with Stygia, he thinking, present active participle, Plutons, many things, and he the one, Miseratus, a perfect passive looking participle, having pitied from Miseror, Miserari, having pitied the unequal, iniquity is where we get from that word, the unequal fate in his mind, thinking about it all and coming to realize how important it might be in order to be able to bury people. Remember, in order to be able to get to the underworld and that for the Sibyl to take him into the underworld, he had to A, get to the golden bow, which we're going to see in the next video, but B, he had to bury his own friend, Misenus, whom he had not realized had died and was unburied. And so therefore, he has saved Misenus's soul from having this 100 year period that they would not be able to find rest as a spirit or as a soul. So, keep studying, good luck.